Now, hey, we were closely tracking the Taiwan elections here on Weon, and in the latest, a U.S. delegation, including two former senior U.S. officials, they have arrived in Taiwan for post-election talks. This along with, of course, reinforcing the U.S. government's time-honored interest in maintaining peace across the Taiwan Strait. And their arrival comes a day after Lai Xing Te from Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party, that's the DPP, won the presidential elections on Saturday. Now, the U.S. delegation includes former National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley and the chair of American Institute in Taiwan, Laura Rosenberger. Hadley had served as the National Security Advisor from 2005 to 2009 under former U.S. President George Bush. The arrival comes just hours after former Deputy Secretary of State James Steinberg landed in Taiwan. The Taiwanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomed the U.S. delegation who will be staying in the East Asian island until Tuesday. Hello, good now the delegation met uh, President, pardon me, met the former president Tsai Ing-wen. They will also be meeting other high-ranking public officials and political figures during the stay. The U.S. Department of State had congratulated Lai on his victory in the presidential election on Saturday. It had also expressed the eagerness to collaborate with Lai and Taiwan's leaders from all political parties. This to advance their shared interests and values and to continue their long-standing unofficial relationship. On this, China later accused the U.S. of sending Taiwan, and I'm quoting here, a gravely wrong signal and pushing for its independence. Beijing described the U.S. message Congratulations, uh, the new Taiwanese president, as a betrayal of Washington's pledge to keep diplomatic ties with Taiwan unofficial. Now, in response to all the comments from China, Taiwan has told Beijing to face reality and give up suppressing the island. This is China remains stern on its stance on cross-strait relations. China has claimed that its reunification with Taiwan remains inevitable. After Taiwan disregarded Beijing's warnings and elected pro-sovereignty contestant Lai ching te as the president, the self-governing island is threatening to become independent. To this, China's top diplomat issued a warning on Sunday saying that any move in that direction would be harshly punished. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.